but professionally since uni and travel photography for the last two years. Tonight I have a collection of photographs from my time living in Cape York in the communities of the NPA. There was five indigenous communities and also from my time spent volunteering in Nepal. Um, my work is candid photography. I like to be around people. I just go to an event, um, go and see people and see what happens and I capture what's going on rather than arranging the photo itself. I like my craft because it means that I can show people what I see. So when I go to an event and I see a child playing in the mud rather than somebody on stage and I capture that, then they see it too. I'm definitely inspired by people and relationships. I love to see how people react and what they do and their stories. And I think it's really great when people don't realise how amazing their own stories are until they hear it told back to them. If people are viewing my work uh, and they have any questions, I would like them to come and talk to me. A lot of the photography is really in depth, it's about a time and a place that I was and maybe I've only captured a moment and so it has this huge backstory behind it and if they want to know it's really rich. If not, it's something pretty that they can look at, um, but yeah, I would, I'd like people to know the stories. The kind of feedback I receive is usually pretty good. Uh, when I work in communities, I'm working with people who usually aren't having their photo taken and it's great to see them like the photos and say oh I look great or be really proud of it and want to show other people or want to get copies. It's really beautiful when people come up and say I love the way that you captured this um, or I thought that was really special. Especially when they say they didn't know that they were that interesting or that beautiful. Um, that's really great. That's what I love. My aspirations for my work is eventually I'd like to make money from it. Um, it's great to be able to do what I do and to travel where I go and take the photos that I do, um, but hopefully one day I need it to be sustainable and make money from the end. In the next five years, uh, immediately I'm going to Colombia for a bit of a holiday, so you'll see some photos of that coming up soon. In the next five years, I'm not sure. Anywhere in Australia, maybe overseas, I'm hoping that you will see my work around and that you'll still love it. Um, yeah, keep the follow, I guess. Get more information about Wild Rice from my website, which is wildrice-online.com, or you can follow me on Twitter or on Instagram. You can just email me at iamwildrice at gmail.com, or you can just pull me up the street sometime and have a chat. I'm up for that too. My name is Jess, and I'm a raw artist. <laughs>